And what I want to do right now is I actually want to put the back of this in the book. Because I'm going to be putting a hole right here with a hole punch, and if I go ahead and fold it up, I won't be able to do that. So we're going to put this in the book with the glue stick, covering up Nancy Drew and Beth and George and Ned and I can't remember Ned's guy friends. I read every single Nancy Drew book there was published. It was pretty crazy there. I was a kid. Okay, so that's in. It's going to brayer it. Alright, so can you kind of see how this is going to all fold up? Kind of like that. Actually, you see how it goes over the edge? I don't like that. So we're going to take it out. This is the part of, uh, we haven't done this before, flying by the seat of our pants. I'm just going to take a little bit off this back edge so it fits a bit better. And that actually should do it. Blue stick again on the back of the inside of the book. Here's my edges. There, I like that a lot better. This I know what this is really how I do things. I just kind of take a little off here, see if this works. No real plan. Okay. Now, when this is closed, I want to keep it closed with the ribbon. So we're going to use our crocodile to cut holes. You adjust it. That's good enough. Let's go right through the cover of the book. And now we're going to kind of line it up a little bit. Keeping my finger there for the width and putting the pencil in. So I can tell where I need that other hole on the opposite cover. Which I will be able to see right here. And while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and put in our eyelets. Actually, I want silver eyelets over brown eyelets. Silver Island. You can use the crocodile tool for this too, which is what makes it so handy. You load it in this end, right there, on the nipple. It's the only really way to say it. Put it through that hole and then just squeeze tight and your eyelet set. So you have an eyelet there and it's set on the back. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Flip it in. All right, there we go. We're almost done. The hard part is really over. All right, so now we need to make this more of a box. Now, these little flaps I saved for just that purpose. I'm going to fold them in, glue them. Me and my trusty glue stick. You know I love my glue sticks. You're going to go in like that and just press them together with your fingers to make this more of a three-dimensional box. And we're going to cover it up with this piece of chipboard, which I cut already. And it fits in there well, so I don't have to trim anything. I'm not going to be able to get the brayer into this edge, so I'm just going to have to really press down with my fingers and hook for the best. There we go. So now, and at some point, not right now, I'll do this off camera, I'll probably put something here, some journaling or something fun in that theme. It folds up and it still looks like a book, but you, oopsie, still looks like a book on a shelf, but when you open it up, it has all sorts of little goodies inside. One last step in the closure. This is some fancy pants ribbon. Where are my scissors? 
probably going to need about this much. Cut at an angle to help you get through that eyelet hole. Yep, I got exactly how much I need, which is good. Through one hole. Tie a knot so it can't go anywhere. Alright, so now that, that one's secure. And here's my angled edge through this hole. Tie a knot. Pull it through. Might want to trim this a little bit. And now you can tie it shut with a pretty yellow ribbon. I'm so not good at tying those. And I'm going to go ahead and trim some of this because it's just too frou-frou. Fergus says hello. Alright, there you go. A Nancy Drew album ready for me to fill up with all sorts of goodies, which you'll see later.